pair. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to change a belt on your Zanussi. Uh, this video can be used for any of the Electrolux group on vented tumble dryers. I've done a previous video on condensing tumble dryers but this is on a vented Zanussi which is part of the Electrolux group and the model number is ZDE 57140W. On some components for these machines you may need the PCN number. This can be found on the identification label called product number and it will normally start with a 9. We will need all the 9 digits plus the 2 at the end. On this model for example it's 916093857. O2. On some parts we will need this. Now the reason why I know the belt is gone on this machine, firstly the clothes were always damp in the bottom of the machine, secondly when you actually turn the drum there's no resistance at all, it just turns freely. We need to take the lid off and have a look if the belt is in place first. Before doing any work on the appliance make sure you unplug the electricity supply. I've got it actually connected to a test meter. Now we need to turn the machine round, undo the two screws at the rear to take the lid off. On this machine there are no screws, it's actually two nuts which are seven mil, so we need to remove these. Tap the lid and it will slide back and the lid comes away. Now you can see the mark where the belt used to be but the belt is not there. It's most probably fallen to the bottom of the machine and the drum is turning freely. So we need to remove a side panel and actually get into the side of the machine. There are a load of screws at the back. I know the motor is situated on the left hand side of the machine so this is the panel we want to take off. Now there's a clip down here and also a nut hidden in there. So we'll remove them first. Using a small screwdriver. Just ease the clip back. And now we'll go to the back of the machine and remove the screws there. There's one, two, three, four screws here. First thing we need to do is remove this vent cover. This is one of the side outlets for the vent tube. And as I always say in all the videos, it's very important that you clear all this fluff out with a vacuum cleaner while work while you're doing the machine. Now the cover's off, before taking the panel up we need to undo one screw here. So we can lift the panel up and it comes away. Now here's the old belt and if you look closely on the belt you may see a number. This is a 6PH 1975 and there's also a long number which may be the part number. This is actually written on the old belt. Now here as I said you can see on the belt that it says 1975 prefixed with 6PH and a part number. What I'm actually going to do is replace this with a uh, 7PH rather than the original. The reason being is the 6PH stands for the number of ribs on here. Now the new belt that is out now on um, most of the machines is actually a 1975 7PH, meaning 7 ribs. It's just a little bit wider and therefore a little bit stronger. Now before assembl um, assembling the machine what I'm going to do is quickly clean the much of the dust out of this machine as possible because all these pipes are fully clogging up with fluff and dust which is a fire hazard uh, and we really need to clean this up before reassembling the machine.
Right, now we've cleaned the machine out, we're ready to fit the new belt. And as I said, I'm going to put a 1975 uh, 7-rib belt, which means it's got one more rib. This is what the manufacturer now recommends. And as you can see on the new belt, it says 1975, which is the actual width, uh, length of the belt in millimetres. So, these are much easier to fit than the condenser dryers. We only have to undo a few screws at the back and then ease the drum backwards. Let me explain a couple of things. One of the reasons the belt may have snapped is the pulley wheel. Make sure there's no side-to-side -side movement. This pulley wheel is good. If this needs replacing, it is on the website and all you need to do is take this circlip off the back, slide the pulley wheel back and put the new one on. They do wear and it is possible. Another fault if your machine is not turning, you can see this in one of our other videos, is possibly the capacitor has gone. Now these capacitors can be changed to universal but you won't be able to use the mounting bracket, you'll have to uh, adapt it slightly which you can see in another video as well. Uh, but first things first, let's fit this belt and I'll talk you through the easy way to do it. So turn the machine round we're going to undo the support bracket at the top here, this one on this side, undo the four bolts on the other side panel but not remove the side panel and then we need to undo one, two, three, four screws which are plastic screws which go into the chassis of the machine. Okay, these four screws first. That's the four screws out of the way. Now we need to undo the bolts on the side. I'm going to leave the other two in place for a second, just so I can turn the machine around without it falling to bits. The top one on the left hand side, and the top one, uh, sorry, top one on the right, top one on the left. Now those are undone. We're able to slide the drum backwards slightly, it will come out of its holding position and we will be able to thread the new belt over. Make sure you don't do any damage to the felt. Just take your time. Right, now we've got the belt in position. Now, before even attempting to do any of this, move this back and make sure it's turning freely and sitting on the wheels correctly at the bottom. Now we're going to put these two top bolts in. four bolts in on the side panel now, just to give the machine strength. And I'm going to put these four screws in on the plastic. Do not over tighten, because it is plastic and you can strip it. Okay. Now I'm going to zoom in to show you how to put the belt on correctly. Okay, first things we need to do is make sure the belt's not twisted in any way. So I'm going to give it a couple of rotations, holding it like that now. Okay, now you'll notice there was a spring on the side of the motor. The spring fits over the lug on the motor and then once we've got the belt on, it fits in the grommet on the side. Let me move my hand out of the way into this hole here. But first we're going to lean the belt back, bring it over and onto the pulley and as I said do a couple of rotations just making sure the belt is lining up reasonably on the drum. Now you can either use a pair of pliers or just a screwdriver Bring this down, it is quite high in tension. 
and put the spring back into the lug there. This is now putting the tension onto the belt. Now we need to give the drum a few rotations to make sure it's lining up correctly and you can move the belt slightly on the jockey wheel and on the pulley to line it up with where it used to be. And that's all working perfectly. Now at this point you could plug the machine in and just do a test so I'll do that quickly to show you. I'm turning it into the cooling position as not to start the heater because we haven't got the correct airflow over. And as you can see that's all working perfectly. We've removed all the fluff and that's done. I'm going to unplug the machine and we'll now put the machine back together. Now we can put the panel on. You'll notice at the bottom there's two location lugs. And that panel is fixed in place. We'll put our screw back in, in the side here. Now we need to put the four screws in on the back. We can put our lid back on. And we're ready to do a test on the machine. Some old workshop rags. The machine's plugged in. Turn the machine to a 60 minute. Press start. And there we go. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to buy all your parts of us at the website. We have hundreds of tutorials, especially on the Zanussi Electrolux range tumble dryers. Everything from diagnostic mode, testing heaters, replacing heaters, motor capacitors, jockey wheels and so on. Thank you very much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it and do remember, if you did find this video helpful, you can always support the website by hitting on the donate page, which is by Paula Beer. Thanks very much indeed for watching.